Hello everybody. Uh, last month I did the uh, balloon twisting workshop. Um, it was quite a different uh, from all other uh, balloon twisting workshops that I did in the past. First of all, uh, this um, workshop was a part um, of much broader program run by a public school where my son Eric is studying. Um, I want to say um, many thanks to all educators and very special thanks to uh, principal of my uh, son's school, Pat, and um, his kindergarten teacher, Jen. Uh, they really made the school a very special place where my kid uh, loved to stay, loved to study. Under the parents' involvement program, uh, parents of students may sign up for every Friday through the school year to teach a class of uh, students. Every Friday, a parent of a student uh, come in uh, to read a lot of books and uh, do different uh, craft project and so on. Well, as you may guess, uh, one Friday I come to the school to teach kids how to do balloon animal. I came with uh, my trusted assistant, my daughter Anastasia. She is a college student now. She worked with me at almost every free balloon twisting workshop in the past, teaching many thousands of uh, New Yorkers uh, how to twist balloons. She could do it alone. That's always uh, better to work with someone. Together we have more fun. The key difference of this and the previous workshops were limited time and the age of uh, students. We have about 30-35 minutes to teach 16 kids of uh, kindergarten age, 5 to 6 years old. Um, children of this age uh, may inflate balloons with a pump, um, however they usually need help to tie balloons. And teaching how to tie balloons, and it is the fundamental skills um, of uh, balloon twisting, um, it has to wait. Um, so while kids may inflate balloons, uh, I would have to uh, tie balloons for many of them. This workshop was started by, well, first uh, the kindergarten teacher Jen introduced Anastasia and me uh, to the class of kids. I have already established uh, my own routine uh, developed through uh, previously run balloon twisting workshops. Uh, this uh, routine I basically follow all the times. After short uh, greetings, I explain. Uh, rules to follow at the workshop. We never put balloons in the mouth. We keep balloons away from the faces. We use uh, air pumps to inflate balloons. This kind of air pumps I usually use. That's the main rules to follow at uh, our balloon twisting workshops. After that I told um, that um, anyone who is uh, afraid of balloons should get behind of me. I had a plan to play with uh, those kids some um, games with balloons, uh, made them to pop indestructible bubbles, <laughs> and only then teach them balloon twisting. Uh, sure enough, after a short uh, silent pause, uh, one child uh, and then many more decided uh, that they were going to be afraid of balloons. <laughs> Thanks to teacher Jen, uh, she used some real magic uh, to quickly restore the order. Yeah. So no one is scared of balloons anymore. Ta-da! Then I told children that everyone will get three balloons. I choose the colors to begin with. Later they might get uh, extra balloons of different colors. Uh, but first I will show what and how to do this balloon. Uh, the students will try to make it. If they need help, uh, I will help them to make it or Anastasia will do it. Uh, for this workshop, I brought a dozen of uh, air pumps, a bag of uh, blue baby color balloons, a bag of uh, pink color balloons, and two bags of uh, assorted color balloons. And while I was explaining uh, the rules, Anastasia, uh, with my help, distributed uh, air pumps and gave uh, three balloons to each uh, child. I let kids to choose uh, between blue and pink color balloons only. 
at tow weight cows. And uh, please keep in mind, no one ever allowed to give him my back of balloons. You have to ask me for a balloon, always. And then we split the uh, class on two groups of uh, children. Um, Anastasia worked with one group and uh, I worked with uh, the other group. Before we get to the school, uh, I discussed with Anastasia um, what balloon sculptures uh, we will teach at the balloon twisting workshop and uh, how to make each uh, balloon sculpture or in what order to make uh, balloon sculptures. Uh, it's always left for each of us to decide on the spot. I made sure that uh, every kid in my group uh, had at least one full inflated balloon before we start making any balloon sculptures. Uh, some kids um, were able to even tie balloons on their own. Uh, for some kids I have to inflate balloons and tie them as well. And then I made three-fold hat. Um, it takes time for kids to make three-fold hat. And while they were making, uh, while they were working on the hat, I was making uh, uh, the same hat. Uh, this way kids can see how it's done over and over again. And also I was uh, planning to use uh, my spare hats uh, as a substitute to those balloon hats that, uh, you know, will pop <laughs> unadvertently. After every kid in my group I made one Three-fold hat. I asked them to make uh, one more three-fold hat. Then I show them how to make three petals of flower from three-fold hat. Some kids were quick enough to adapt the three petals flower as a, a bunny bracelet. Cute. I asked kids to attach the three petals flower to the head. And then we made another three-four hat. I asked kids to turn this hat in the flower again. From here, uh, some kids uh, choose to make it uh, a six petals flower. Some kids uh, choose to use six petals flower to make a star. Some other kids uh, choose to make a hat with uh, two flowers.
show to kids how to make um, a nine-pointed star from a head with two flowers. I also told kids that we can use a star instead of a ball to play any games indoor. We can use six-pointed star or nine-pointed star. It works nice anyway. And uh, sure enough, some kids want to make uh, a flower on a stem with leaves. We did it too. I saw kids in Anastasia's group uh, were making swords. In my group were only girls who didn't have enough time for swords, obviously. As you may notice, uh, through this workshop we were making basically the same threefold uh, balloon sculptures. The major goal of this workshop was to introduce kids uh, to balloon twisting art. I think that uh, repeating the same moves but making uh, different balloon sculptures um, it is the right way to go at the beginning. By sharing our knowledge and skills with uh, kids we teach them to be kind. There were kids who were making balloon sculptures for themselves and there were kids who were making balloon sculptures for their little siblings and for their parents. Making people happy is the nature of art. And that's what it's about. Remember to subscribe to my video channel for more videos. Like this video, share it with your friends. Leave comments. Have fun and happy twisting.